I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. I missed my 1.30 live today, but doing it today, I wanna to talk about a question that people have been posting over the last couple of days. Luke, should we eat only local food? Okay, there are mixed reviews around whether we should just eat local food or whether we can eat other foods that may not be local to the country that you live in or to the geography that you live in, okay? Now, local is important. We need to support our farmers, our geography, our soil, and of course, foods grow according to climates that suit you, that suit your skin, your hair, your genes, your immune system according to the weather. We know that there are crops that grow during winter, during summer, and all of that. So yes, local is important. My message to you today is stop putting yourself into a box of only local, okay? Because if you have a disease or you have a condition is your disease or your condition local? No, cancer is not a local disease, nor is cardiovascular, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and anything. So if you get benefits, if you get certain benefits in foods that may not be local to you, but may be good for your condition, why will you not eat it? And because you put yourself into this box, and then as we put ourselves into boxes and extremes, it slowly unconsciously becomes our identity. And then we wanna defend it, we wanna fight for it, we wanna do all of that stuff. But we miss out on the simple, beautiful gifts of nature that may occur and grow in different countries, but can be available in your own country today. And that one food product will have something that can help you with your condition. So my whole point is, yes, local is important, but it is not everything. Let me give you a simple example. Whether they're kiwis, which they are medically documented as a fruit that has the ability to help you with DNA repair. So if you're going through chemotherapy, you're going through radiation, okay, are you still gonna put yourself into a box and say, oh, I wanna eat a kiwi because it is not local? You know, get out of these boxes. There are people every day fighting to defend veganism, non-vegetarian, gluten-free, dairy, whatever it is that works for you, okay? Whatever it is that is in line with your religious beliefs or whatever it is, embrace it peacefully and live the way you want. Stop fighting with people, stop trying to defend the extremes that you've chosen. Because I'll tell you one thing today, all the data that I have, I have sick and cancerous vegans, I have sick and cancerous non-vegetarians, I have sick and cancerous egatarians, gluten-free, whatever it is, okay? What does that tell you? Yes, nutrition is important, but you gotta start, stop fighting over these superficial things and go beyond it. You know, while you fight to embrace your path, are you looking at your emotions? Are you looking at your anger? Are you looking at your guilt, your insecurities, your past traumatic events, unforgiveness? Are you looking at overtraining, under recovery? Are you looking at your sleep deprivation? Why don't you start talking and fighting about these things which are far more important in prevention, recovery, and cure of most of the diseases that you may have? So my point is yes, embrace local. It is super important, but if there are foods that today are now being scientifically you know, found out and medically recorded to help you with conditions. Be open to it. All I'm trying to tell you is open your eyes and open your mind. Get out of the box that you're in and be open. Finally, you have a choice. If you still don't wanna do it, no one's forcing you, but you get all angry and you get all aggressive about defending your path and defending all, all of that stuff. It actually just reflects on poor emotional health more than anything else. Now, the reason I'm having this today is because we are constantly researching on food, science, medicine, pharmaceuticals, and disease. That's what we do in integrative medicine. We look at everything in the best interests of the patient. And while people go on about green tea and green tea, let me share some research that came in this morning. We all have a P53 protein. A P53 protein is termed today medically and scientifically as an anti cancer protein because of its ability to help us repair DNA at a cellular level, create cell apoptosis, which is cell death, recognize and destroy cancerous cells. And today we have solid medical, pharmaceutical and scientific research which is coming in to show us that the EGCG, which is a powerful antioxidant in green tea, has the ability to increase the amount of P53 in our bodies. Now, why will we not want to do that? Especially when we're living in countries and places where pollution is at its highest, pesticides and food, stress, sleep deprivation, everything that cancer cells need 
as the perfect environment to thrive. You and I both have cancer cells in us, both of us, okay? Now, if I have a cancer cell that is deciding to start unfortunately behaving abnormally, okay, my DNA needs to be smart enough to send a signal to that cancerous cell to self-destruct in a process called cell apoptosis, where our cells are able to kill themselves because they're growing, they're infected with a virus or a bacteria or a germ, or they're becoming rogue cells, which are cancer cells. Now, when the DNA can no longer do this because it's corrupted, like a computer program, it's corrupted. And look at this beautiful research, almost 50% more, or 50% of cancers or more have mutations in P53, which means we don't even have the ability for that protein to defend us anymore. So now, where's your argument of local? Okay, if you are sick and you need antioxidants and foods, that are medically recorded, scientifically recorded, why will you not use it? But because you've built this false identity of being strict and putting yourself into a box, which is nothing but ego and pride, you deprive yourself of simple foods that can actually help you. Now, it's a different thing if you don't like green tea. No one's telling you not to drink it. The debate of whether green or black is better is a useless debate because both of them are equally good for equally different uh, aspects. Black tea has stuff that green tea doesn't have. And green tea has stuff that black tea doesn't have. So you cannot debate which is better. Today have green tea, tomorrow have black tea. Get diversity in your diet. So coming back to the whole point, when your disease is global, it's not local, start opening up your eyes and opening up your mind that you can eat. Now make sure your diet is probably 100% local, but if you need foods that can help you with your condition, be open to that as well. Don't put yourself into a box. No one's stopping you from eating local. Stop defending it and stop fighting for it. The whole world today is global in a way. We can get anything and everything. Now, if you make your diet, if you're in India and you make your diet 100% international, now that's, that's craziness, that's, that's stupidity because you need to eat local to suit your own body temperature, uh, your uh, connection with nature, the place that you live in and all of these things. It has that connection. The third best part of this, Pharmaceuticals today are now studying green tea to see how they can mimic EGCG from green tea in their cancer drugs. So are you gonna start asking your doctor every time they give you a medicine, oh, are the ingredients local or are they international in your medicine? No, right? Most probably you will shut your mouth and you'll take your medicine quietly. The whole point is you should understand in pharmaceuticals and most medicines, there is a percentage of natural herbs and plants and leaves even in your chemical pharmaceutical drugs. So my whole point, open up your eyes. You don't wanna have it, don't have it, but don't put yourself into a box. Understand that nature is diverse. Disease is multifactorial. It needs a multifactorial approach. There are so many mechanisms in disease, but you put yourself into a box and you try to be rigid with it and you don't get the results that you look at. The gut needs diversity today. It's changing. If you keep eating different foods, you need different bacterias and colonies of bacteria in your microbiome to work for you, which is why it's nice to have a diversity of colors, a diversity of nutrients and everything. So my whole point is keep your mind open, okay? You're not gonna feel, fall sick because you're eating a few foods which are not local for you. Of course, if it's junk and processed and you don't need me to explain what's gonna happen. My whole point is do it the right way, but everyone is putting themselves into a box, listening to what society tells you and getting into a box. And you can't see out of that box to see what exists around you that can help you. And we should be grateful. In fact, we should be grateful that we can have foods that never existed in our country come here to our country so we can utilize. And people abroad are grateful that Indian foods are now available in their country. But over here, we only fight to hold on to our identities and fight with one another, who's the best, who's doing what. And most people who even go on fighting about local, believe me, they're not local. In other aspects of their life, absolutely not. So my point is, keep your eyes open, Keep your mind open. There is so much of scientific research today about different foods having therapeutic benefits for the human body because the germs that you breed in are not local anymore. Okay, you know that from COVID, from, where, from wherever it came, whether it's China or we'll never know, or maybe we'll know someday. You have a global pandemic in your country, okay? So you can be open to eating global foods if 
it is helping you, and if there is science and research to it. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember, you care is all about you.